Yo, what's up everyone? It's Jack of To Go. Now, I before we get into anything, I need you to strap in, press the like button, subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell, and go follow my Instagram. Now, strap in and get ready because this was probably, no, this definitely was the best Black Clover chapter ever. With a lot of detective test determined, that was a lie. I mean, it had everything. It had an amazing plot. Uh, amazing plot progression. It had action. Kill him. Kill him now. It had inform. It, it, it was just mind blowing all around. And I mean. <laughs> Right, so it was not the best chapter ever. I mean, honestly, if we, if, if we're, if we're going to be one hundred percent here, this was a filler chapter. Um, I mean, man, nothing, nothing of worth really happened. Uh, maybe except for a couple of things. Uh, just kind of scrolling through this, uh, we were left off with Asta, you know, with their respective newfound power. Um, power swords and whatnot, and we get Austin, you know, charging at the devil. Now, uh, what's going on is that the devil is kind of skeptical of their newfound power because he says, do you really think you can reach me at that speed? So this indicates that uh, this is definitely slower than their initial attack uh, that did land. Uh, now, granted that the devil didn't have a grimoire at the time. But I don't think that affects speed so much. Um, but, you know, give or take, um, it is slower. Uh, but it makes sense as to why it's slower, because look at uh, Asta's new power-up. It's, uh, it's really just him being able to control uh, the sword as opposed uh, to the sword controlling him and where he goes. So, yeah, he might move a bit slower because of that. Uh, so what ends up happening is that, you know, speeds them both up by using, I think he actually just speeds up uh, Asta, now that I'm looking at this, um, and just hurls Asta at the demon, and Asta actually pierces and impales the demon, uh, which, is, which is pretty new, because I don't think up until this point we've ever seen Asta actually pierce something with his sword like we see him do the devil here and the devil is taken just a bit off guard um he he didn't expect you know to just hurl asta at him and two i don't think he really uh expected asta's sword to pierce him the way he did uh but the, the devil starts having one of those classic like villain breakdowns where it's like you still think they're superior but then they're just talking mad crap. Uh, so he's just calling him trash and blah, blah, blah. And now, when villains usually talk that crap, like, they just start, like, spouting off everything. This demon is talking so much crap that he actually spouts off mouths all over his body, all over wings, on, on his arms. It's ridiculous looking. So um, he's going through this weird transformation. Uh, Austin notices that uh, his heart actually may have moved places. So Asa was aiming for his heart, um, which is really good because we know that the demon's not going to die unless they destroy the heart. Uh, but it looks like the demon's able to change where the heart is placed in its body, which is a pretty handy skill. Um, and it also kind of, you know, lightens the fight. But, uh, yeah, it, it's just, there's a whole panel of all of these mouths just talking crap about Asta and blah blah blah, so Asta notices the heart's moved, and then the devil, um, it, it looks like different mouths are saying different spells all over the place, and uh, the entire battlefield is being engulfed in hellworms again. Um, I, I don't know what to make of this, I'm, I'm kind of not a fan of this you know, maybe it's just the only spell the devil knows, but I'd, I'd hope not. But that's what it looks like. Um, it, he's just really spamming the crap out of this Hellworm stuff. I would hope to see more um, 
the verse he in his attack being that he is uh, forced to be uh, to be reckoned with as far as you know being super imbued in mana and demonic mana and a special brand of magic I would hope to see more but um, it seems all we're getting are these little like demon briars and demon hellworm things so he keeps throwing those at them and he's just using the tactic the tactic of uh, overwhelming the, the opponents in the battlefield to, uh, to win this fight and there's not much skill uh, being displayed on the devil's end so uh, we have Patri kind of defending uh, the exits of uh, their, where they're fighting so that those hellworms and the other stuff doesn't get to the lower levels and start flooding out uh, the other rooms and he's being overwhelmed and uh, he's, he's saying uh, that he really can't pull it off for too much longer essentially. But then you have Wit and uh, Lumiere saying there's no way that we can let the people of this era die. They're the ones who will lead the mages of Clover Kingdom to the future. So uh, this is really the last and the only thing we see of Lumiere and Licht in this chapter. Uh, and it's, it's really just setting up to what I've been seeing from past videos is that this is the end phase of the beginning of Black Clover. This is the official passing of the torch because instead of the Wizard Emperor, uh, the strongest human that we know, and then the strongest elf that we know, uh, fighting the strongest being that we've ever seen, uh, they're lending it over to these two young men, uh, Yuno and Asta, to get the job done, which is, to me, kind of stupid. Um, but also, as, as far as plot progression goes, I get it. I totally understand what's going on. Um, but I mean, it's kind of careless uh, to just, you know, let's have these two random boys we've never really met uh, clean, clean up our mess. Uh, but yeah, so Austin, you know, have this cool little panel. Uh, Austin's like, you sure, like running your, oh yeah, this is, this is the part where I, I'm kind of like, you, you know what? Yuki Tsubata, we need, to, we need to calm down a little bit, all right? So Asta says, verbatim, You sure like running your mouth, you black nasty bastard, but this isn't over yet. I ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I mean, this is like the third time he just like calls him a black bastard of some sort, and it's, it's starting to hit the fields, man. Um, <laughs> But uh, he asks, you know, are you still alive? And, you know, it's like, that's my line. No, the, the only thing that just didn't make any sense is that in the initial attack, uh, Austin and you know are heading towards the demon. And then the, uh, once the demon makes a comment on the speed, you know just decides to hurl Austin at the demon, but then not use his sword at all. So I don't get the point of that attack uh, whatsoever now that, you know, it's all said and done. But they're both there, you know, holding their swords in front of them. And Asa says, let's take him down. So, like, I'm ready for, like, this final attack. And uh, then we get to Sekre, um just kind of going through the memories of Asta. And she essentially says, I used this kid. I had no faith in him whatsoever. Like, she, like, really uh, almost says, like, she didn't believe in him up until this very point. Um, in time, which is ridiculous because Asta has been whooping asses left and right almost since the beginning of the season, um, or not season, but uh, series. Uh, so thanks for that, Sek. Um, so then it, it just ends on, you know, Sekre and Asta's faces, and she's telling Asta to win. And that's it. I mean, nothing happened in this in this episode and it, if anything it was kind of a letdown i mean with the momentum that they were building this was not the chapter they needed uh i mean i would have been totally okay if they skipped this week to make like a super chapter or or something because this was kind of unacceptable for the the, the momentum that they've had going into this We've hit the climax of not only this battle, but the series so far. 
and they just decide to like, oh yeah, let's make some stupid comments here and there, let's make this attack just useless. Um, and I mean, let's not even showcase, you know, sword. Uh, it, it was it, all around just a really bad chapter um, because nothing progressed. The battle didn't progress, the plot didn't progress, absolutely nothing happened. And uh, I mean, yeah, that kind of sucks. I, I hope they end it next chapter. This battle needs to end because there's, they've already shown us there's nothing more that they can do to drag this battle out. Um, and, I mean, I might not have had so many bad things to say about the chapter if it was, you know, a good battle happening, but there's not really a good battle happening. The only thing that happened was Asa got hurled into the demon, and then the demon just floods the battlefield again. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's really just starting to get repetitive and really dull. So they need to finish this and move on to what they're moving on to. Because, uh, like I've said, they're, they're gearing up for something really big, but, I mean, if we're going to have chapters like this, we can skip a week, honestly. This was kind of a waste of time, but, I mean, I'm glad, of course, to read Black Clover every week. I, I would still give it a 5 out of 10. Like, I, it's hard for me to give a 0 to Black Clover. So, um, other than that, this was just a, a whatever chapter. You can take it or leave it. Uh, but... I, I've been kind of wondering what's going to happen with uh, Sekre after this battle is done. Uh, there's... She's, she's got a lot of knowledge um, stored inside of her, right? And now that she's unsealed, she'll be able to participate with the Magic Knights and whatnot. So I, I'm seeing that um, Sekre maybe joins the Black Bulls, um, or... Uh, has, retakes kind of her spot as the advisor to whoever the next Wizard King is going to be, uh, along with that other guy, I can't remember his name right now, uh, because she has a lot of information um, on, on, the, on the magic tools and the elves and uh, possibly other races as well um, that may or may not have, they may or may not have made uh, contact with uh, back when Lumia was still alive. So we, I mean, I don't know, I, I'm hoping that she does stick around and help, you know, everything, because this plot's about to get a lot bigger than what we're used to. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that we get a little Asta Sekre relationship going on. I, I kind of like that. Um, and then I'm, I'm hearing a lot of people thinking about, like, what's next after Asta and Yuno um, finish this battle? Who's going to be the Wizard King? Who's going to take over uh, the Golden Dawn as the captain? Um, are we going to need another vice captain for the Golden Dawn? Uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen? So, um, what I'm thinking right now is that we're going to see no real progression with Asta as far as rank. No, no super big jump. He might go from... I think he's at like a junior or something, maybe to like a senior um, magic knight or something like that. Um, but he's not going to hit captain level. Um, he, he's fighting at a captain level right now, I will say. But he's not going to be a captain of anything. Uh, you know, however, I do see him progressing to at least a vice captain, if not captain. Uh, he's displayed so many things in just this arc that gives him the right to that title, um, to, to be able to take over, uh, you know, a, a whole team. And uh, I, I think that'd be a good plot progression because it's always been kind of the, the thing that separates them. Although they're pretty even, you know, um, just straight up smarts gets him just ahead of Asta, um, and that's that's what really separates them, right? So I said it in the last video, what we saw in just a couple of chapters ago uh, is that he made this sword out of the magic around him. That's not even his own magic, it's spiritual magic, um, and it's creation magic. 
and it's wind magic. So it's all these things that he's doing in one go. Uh, and it's something that hasn't really been seen before in the series. So it's showing Yuno's prowess and that he's never going to be in a position where he is down and out in a battle, not even if the odds are stacked against him or if uh, he's not suited for that battle, because we know that he's not suited for this battle. His magic does nothing to the demon, but what does he do? He uses the magic that does do something to the demon that's in the air and makes himself useful. He puts himself in the battle. So that's what makes him so deadly. Um, and I, I, that's definitely, that's captain level thinking, if anything. That is captain level thinking. Uh, the, the only thing where I put him at vice captain at instead of captain is, uh, you know, his ability to lead a team. We haven't really seen his, uh, how cohesive he can move a unit. Um, it's, he's kind of a lone wolf and he works with whoever. But, I mean, he's just so overpowered that he doesn't really need anyone else. Um, so, it, it's kind of tough to say, but uh, like I was saying, I, don't, I see Asta staying around the same level that he is at, um, and then, you know, becoming a vice captain or a captain of the Golden Dawn, because uh, we also haven't seen anything special from anyone of the Golden Dawn. Uh, so, I mean, captain's not too far-fetched. I'm assuming... Uh, Laundries is going to be doing some time, uh, somehow, some way, uh, I don't know, but we can't have that dude back right after all this goes down. Uh, so that'll happen. As far as Wizard King goes, now I need you guys to, to buckle in and listen to me on this one. Uh, so I'm going to go the typical fan route and just give you who I think should be the next Wizard King, right? Uh, Yami would be a good one. Uh, Nozel is shaping up. I really like how he's going, but the realistic choice is Fue Golan. Um, he's got the smarts, he's got the power, he's respected, and he respects everyone. So, um, Fue Golan is my personal choice, and that's actually the most solid choice for even given. So, uh, I think that would happen. But, if we're going into the fan theory, sort of thing. I think Julius is coming back. Um, I, I know we saw Julius die, but the thing about Julius is his magic. His magic is time magic, right? So what really got me uh, about Julius is that his grimoire had no beginning and it had no end. It was just an infinite grimoire, right? And we only saw maybe two or three spells from him. And like we're seeing with Sekere, it's almost like they're setting this up, that magic can be applied in so many ways. Um, Sekere used to magic specifically was just opening and closing things. Uh, where we saw her actually heal uh, Lumiere when he wants his arm. Now, I don't know if she can do that to like a full-on biological arm, because we do know that Lumiere is, has like a magic stone body, uh, partly. So, you know, I, we're not quite sure if that can happen on like a purely biological level. But if it does, that, that says a lot about how far you can take your magic, no matter what it is. Uh, and I think it's the same with Julius. If his magic is time, I think that's probably one of the most broken things ever because uh, he can maybe somehow resurrect himself, um, you know, shift the way things happen and uh, create a better timeline and whatnot uh, and really become a broken magic. Uh, Julius is also too much of a good character for them to throw away like that. I, I don't think his role is done. Whether he comes back the way I say it or not, um, that's neither here nor there, but I, I am almost certain that he is not done uh, as far as the series goes. So, uh, in my world, I have Julius as Wizard King again. I have Yuno know, as the uh, captain or vice captain of the Golden Dawn with whoever that captain or vice captain to fill the other space. 
will be, I don't, I don't even know who that person would be. And then Asa not really moving too far up uh, ahead of everyone uh, on his own team. Uh, yeah, I, that's all I got. I'm, I, I almost apologize for this chapter not being as great as it could have been. But I'm not Yuki Tabata, so um, you got what you got, we got what we got, and it, it, it kind of sucked. So um, I'm going to be doing another video after this to kind of make up for um, what Black Clover didn't give us. Uh, what it's going to be on, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to think about it right now. But thank you for tuning in. Tune into the next one. Like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram for more content. I also uh, update you whenever I put up a new video on YouTube. Uh, and I'm much more interactive there as well. With that further ado, I give you the end of the video. Thank you for sticking with me. This has been Jack Goltz.